Sometimes when you do not have both the denominator the same on both the left side or on the right side so something like an example where you can have b plus 4 over 7 is equals to b minus 1 over 2 so do, they don't have the same denominator on the left side and the right side it's okay you know just apply this method called cross multiply why do we do cross multiply it's basically to when we want to remove these two we multiply it by multiply by 2 then at this point we need also need to multiply by 2 then on the left side when we want to multiply this we want to remove this 7 we also multiply by we also multiply by 7 and multiply by 7 okay so basically these 2 and these 2 will neutralize each other this 7 and this 7 will neutralize each other so if the remaining result became left with 2 bracket b plus 4 okay equals to 7 bracket b minus 1 okay so then it became like you know a simpler way of tell us telling student is the 7 goes to him the 2 goes to him the, the, the only denominator can go up okay denominator go up to the denominator but it must be across this equal sign okay so that's why when the 2 goes to him it becomes this way also when the 7 goes to him it also becomes this way uh, then after that we can open the equation okay, minus 7 all right algebra on the left side so 2d minus 7b is equals to minus 7 minus 8 then I will have negative 5b is equals to negative 15 b equals to negative 15 divided by negative 5 and that will be equals to negative 3 sorry just 3 uh, negative divided by negative is positive okay so this is the method called cross multiply but you can only use cross multiply if there's only one fraction on the left side and one fraction on the right side.